Uh, I guess the first thing is that we never thought we were going to have a large family. Uh, we didn't have some plan, and sometimes people think it's a contest, you know, we're not trying to win anything here. Uh, but I will tell you that anybody that has a child, uh, I've often asked them, because when you say 10, they're, they're usually in shock at first, and uh, I'll say to them, but do you have a child? And very often somebody will have at least one, and I'll say, would you die for your child? And of course the immediate response is, yeah, so yeah, I obviously would. And I, and I'm saying, isn't it a miracle that God has allowed you and your wife and him to participate in this incredible miracle of creating a soul for eternity? So you're not creating a soul for a hundred years, this is forever. So often I just say, if, if, if you have that kind of love and appreciation and, and uh, you know, just great affection for your one child. You can only imagine how happy my wife and I are with our 10. So it's, it's been remarkable. And I think it also helps you with understanding human nature. Because when you have a big family, you get to know that everybody's not the same. It's really clear to you after a while. Um, so although you're on the same family, and there's probably characteristics that most people could identify you as a fear felder, uh, it's really interesting because each person, and this is, this is why you see the value of each human life. Uh, because you see the uniqueness of each person. And so it's, uh, it's been a great, great blessing. Uh, wouldn't trade it for the world.